Hello Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! And I have a question for you guys. Now if your personality could be a font, what font would you be? So personally, I think KDP would be the font called Sans. But not just any Sans, specifically Comic Sans. Because KDP seems like a Comic Sans kind of guy, am I right? But that still leaves some questions. Why would KDP of all fonts be Comic Sans? And that's when our theory comes in. What if KDP is actually Sans Undertale? Let me explain. So for starters, let's talk about Sans' posture. He's very smug, and he keeps his hands in his pockets all the time. Mind you, his pockets are near his sides. And doesn't that pose seem a bit familiar to you? That's right. It's strikingly similar to the pose that KDP made in that one picture with Unoriginal. Hmm, Unoriginal. Let's talk about him for a second. So, Unoriginal, better known as Banana Man, has a very quirky and cheery personality and posture to him. It's almost childlike. In a good way, of course. And he's always there to brighten up the mood and make everyone happy. Sounds familiar, no? He sounds just like Sans' partner in crime, Papyrus. There are just so ho -ho many similarities between the two. I mean, look, KDP's a smug one, and Unoriginal is a cheery one. It makes so much sense. And their relationship doesn't just stop there. I mean, look, they're in countless videos together. But out of all those videos, one sticks out the most. And that video is Erotic Moist Operatives. But before we get to that, there's a few more things I gotta talk about first. Now, one of the main things about this theory is how similar KDP and Sans really are. Because here, I have a lot of proof. First of all, their vocabulary is very, very similar. Look at the way KDP talks. See his wording? Now, take a look at this. Look at the way Sans talks. Don't they speak very, very similar? And look at that word right there. Determination. Doesn't that remind you of anything? Hmm. Oh! I know what it reminds me of. Take a look at this, guys. Oh, we did it! Oh, determination! Mm. We did it! Mm. Oh. Oh. That's right, guys. Determination the exact same word that KDP used. Oh, and that's not all. Take a look at these screenshots as well. Hmm, pretty suspicious, huh? Now why of all characters would he want Sans in Super Smash Brothers? What other reason could there be? He wants Sans in Smash because he is in fact Sans. Now, let's get back to that video I mentioned earlier. So in this video, King Francis the Chicken comes out of nowhere to summon Banana Man and tells him that he has to use the power of the banana. But what I'm trying to figure out is why he needs the power of the banana right at this very moment. I mean, look at the background. There's no threat at all. It's just a regular day. But then something interesting happens, and I guarantee you it's going to raise a few eyebrows. Now, somewhere along the video, Banana Man ends up finding KDP, and they... fight? Now why would Sans and Papyrus ever fight each other? It's kinda strange. But hey, that's not the most important thing here. What's important is the type of fight they're having, an RPG battle. You know what game Undertale is? It's an RPG game, and there's one part of the battle that's guaranteed to turn things around. Take a look at this. Oh! Oh! Stop! Did you catch that? Look what KDP's wearing. He's wearing a sweater. Just like Sans Undertale. But that's not all. Take a look at this scene right here. Why won't I die? Ah! 
Did you catch that? Did you see the way KDP was defeated? By a diagonal slash to the chest. Doesn't that sound familiar? That's exactly what happens to Sans when you fight him in Undertale. But here's the thing. So now that we know that KDP actually is Sans, why would Sans be fighting Papyrus? Why does KDP want to fight Papyrus so much? Well, I think I have an answer. So the reason why I think KDP's trying so hard to kill Papyrus is because he can't live with the constant pressure and demand of the How To Make Papyrus in Dragon Ball Xenoverse video. He's teased it over two years ago, but he never made it. And recently his fans have noticed, but he never uploaded it, instead pranking Neon Jigglypuff, thinking that would be enough, but unfortunately, it wasn't. It's gotten so bad for him to the point where he's trying to kill Papyrus in pure anger and frustration. It's quite sad, actually. It started off as a happy one-time video that he teased a sequel for, but he never had time to upload it, and now fans are demanding and pressuring him to the point where he's almost breaking. And he's tried to forget and move on, but it never worked. And now it's come to the point where he's pretty much given up. He can't forget, so the only way to deal with it is to kill Papyrus and get rid of him for good. But Papyrus, aka Banana Man, knows that's not who San slash KDP really is. So he harnesses the power of the banana to take down KDP and calm him down, so where he won't cause any more danger. And he does so successfully. So, there you have it. KDP is actually Sans, and unoriginal, surprisingly, Papyrus. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Neon Jigglypuff here, and I just gotta say, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of. Well, it's not even an episode, it's just a video that I made. It's a, obviously, it's a parody of Game Theory, MatPat. Please go watch his channel, it's a pretty good channel. This was actually inspired by his Sans is actually Ness theory video. And I gotta say, this was so much fun to make. It took me about a week to make. It's been a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed making it, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And I'm just so proud of how it turned out. I'm really, really happy. It's really, I'm, I'm just very proud of it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to make, and uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed, I enjoyed, I already said before, but I, yeah, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to make. And thank you guys so much for watching again. I, I literally, I'm just, I'm just so happy that, I don't know, like, it was gonna be a joke. This whole thing started off as a joke, but then it turned into an actual thing. Because I had determination, as Etika would say. And <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video I do, and if you want to see more videos like this, please tell me in the comments, because I had a lot of fun making this, and, um, yeah, it's probably not going to be the last. So, if you guys enjoyed it, and you want to see more, tell me in the comments, and like, subscribe, favorite, and, uh, yeah. And with that all said, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> see you later, guys. And again, thank you.